consciousness of these people is such that they want to take on the whole world, including all the Muslim countries. There are currently 10 Muslim countries that are a part of the coalition against them. They want to take on the whole Muslim world and the whole non-Muslim world, and they want to do it in the name of Islam. And they want to put us, the Muslim minorities across the world, in conflict, in enmity with all of the non-Muslims around us. So Muslims might, pick, might make up a couple of percent of, of the total population of Canada, America, 2%, 3%, whatever the case is, or maybe more. You want to pit this small minority of people against the remaining 95, 96, 97% of the population. You want to create this. And they have stated this, that they want to remove what they call the gray zone. They want to remove from this planet, a world where Muslims and non-Muslims are getting along. They want to remove that. They want to finish that. They want to create a world where all the Muslims in the world are fighting against all the non-Muslims in the world. And why in the world would you want that? For centuries, Muslims lived in peace with their Sikh neighbors in India. They lived in peace with their Jewish neighbors in Palestine, in Israel. They lived in peace with their Christian neighbors across the world. For centuries, everyone has been fine, and then you come along and disrupt the entire, the entire world. You turn the whole world upside down. So by committing acts like the one in Paris, what we feel they're trying to do is increase the frustration of non-Muslims, increase the intolerance of non-Muslims towards Muslims, and constantly put us put the rest of us in a very compromised position where we are now having to suffer the backlash as the Muslims are today. And then we are enemies with everyone and everyone is enemies with us. And that's how they want the world to be. 